His partner weighing 229 pounds from Downers Grove, Illinois, Angelo Papo. Their opponent, weighing 245 pounds from Sisinoy, Bob Konofsky. His partner weighing 228 pounds from Auckland, New Zealand, Pat O'Connor. Two out of three falls on a 30 minute time limit, the referee Fred Lederba. Well, uh, dear children, here we go. I guess if you were writing fairy tales, you would call this the story of the two stinkers and the two princes. Because on your right, you got a pair of them. Angelo Papo, and with his back to you, Hans Schmidt. On your left is a boy from down under, Pat O'Connor, and a boy locally uh, from Chicago. Bob is one of our better Polish citizens, and I think you'll uh, rather like watching him work. So, uh, quick, get out of the way, I'm talking. Mike who? Well, I don't know, I'm so we'll let it go. This is a two out of three fall affair with a 30 minute time limit. In other words, it's kind of sudden death. You know what I mean. So, uh, what, no valet service, Angelo? Well, they'll hardly even let you put the things together anymore. Or you gotta get going. So leave us do it, huh? The man who takes care of the Cadillacs with the keys in them and the motors running just tells me this boy, Robert, his last name is Konofsky. How you'd spell it, I still wouldn't know, but uh, at any rate, we'll try. So here goes, let's see who starts for Konofsky and O'Connor. Here's Schmidt, Fred Lederberg. Well, it kind of looked like at last glimpse there, it might be O'Connor. Papo, we know, is out. This is a real pair, Papo and Schmidt. <laughs> oh, man. I've seen worse than this at Lincoln Park. That's the local zoo, you know. And if Kohler could hear me, he wouldn't like it any better either. Well, here we go. There's the bell. Pat O'Connor begins for himself and brother Konofsky. Komen Sie her. Oh no, come, I'll tell you what. You come here, eh? Crowded, eh, Wild? How easy it is, Hans. This looks like the introduction to the ballet of broken noses, doesn't it? <laughs> the way they've taken off. Well, I may kid the situation, but don't don't think for a minute that I'd ever like to be up in there. Mm -mm, not this old fat boy nor would you. It is rough with a capital rough. You know what I mean. Take down there with an arm lock.
Lucky here. Well, what's the matter, Hans? That was a pretty takedown by Pat, and then Hans countered. So here we go again. Pat didn't get out. Kitchy, kitchy, cool. Enough short ribs here, they ought to go to Singapore. Tommy McDonald, Singapore, that is. So now we send in Papa. This is like carrying coals to Newcastle, whatever that means. didn't do a thing. Believe me, in Australia we never do anything wrong. Something's gonna happen to you in a minute, Angelo. And when it does, I won't write your policy. a minute or two to think this over, I think. Pat's part and encountering some 
a flying mare. Hunch, you'll have to get your face out of the way if you don't want to get caught in that. There was a pickup and then an open body scissors. A tag, Papo's in. No, 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 Angelo. Let's wait till he gets on his feet. Maybe he doesn't want there. He moved right into a reverse chin lock, nonetheless. There's the tag. That our boy Stash put it on him. Yeah, you're fresh. Give it to him, huh? That arm won't twist many more times. That our boy, don't don't take any lip from him. You're gonna have to. Looks like. There was a tag, as you saw. Papo back in, Schmidt out. And Robert, uh, well, it's hard to report on him right now. If you have the idea the crowd is upset, you're quite right. A little bit rough, isn't it, huh? Schmidt's backbreaker on Kozlovsky. You can't buy one of these for 30,000 SNH stamps. I'm kidding. Well, Pat walks in here, but it is very definitely Schmidt and Papo's first call. This is for Sotemon. Got it. Let's take time out for the boss, huh? I don't know. After watching Pat Straight and Bob out there, it uh, kind of made you feel like settling last month's power bill, doesn't it? Huh? Ooh. I don't know which was worse, the match or the straightening out. But nonetheless, that's what we're here to watch. This Pappy Davis Ringside International Amphitheater, Chicago. The old mini from Munich, Hans Schmidt, has his back and uh, broken ribs toward him. Angelo Paffo is a boy, sort of in a half or three quarter view to us here. He is without uh, fault, too. <laughs> I don't know. It's a rough pair of laddies, these two. What Schmidt lacks and uh, a couple of other things, uh, Papo can make up for in sheer deviltry. Well, there's the whistle. There's the bell. Here's O'Connor. Small palaver here. A 
Well, I can't figure out why this guy ever crawled into the ring again, but uh, maybe he feels like he's got something to prove. He's in the middle of it right now. The proving, that is. This could be a hassle pretty quick now, any time. Well, well, well. Look what is happening to Herr Schmidt. And the boy Pat help him out. Well, there. I wouldn't want that guy, Kozlovsky, putting that kind of a deal on me, if that be his name. I'm not sure of it yet. Time, one minute and 40 seconds. The winners of the second team fall, Bob Kanowski and Pat O'Connor. Oh, now I finally get it. Kanowski with a W instead of an L. Well, <laughs> at any rate, we got to fall a piece. Schmidt's about ready to lose his wig to Popo. Get out of here, Rob Schmidt him, get lost, whatever other equivalents there are. We'll be back in a minute. Well, this is that minute, and Schmidt hasn't quieted down yet. He's still hotter than a five-dollar shotgun. I don't know where he caught it along the line, but uh, when he got bent out of shape, Brother Robert certainly took care of him. No, you didn't have him pinned either. Angelo, uh, quit talking to the manager. At this stage of the game, it doesn't do any good. Schmidt will whip both of you if you're not careful. There's a 10-second whistle. And here we are for the third and deciding fall. This should be a wee bit more than interesting. Ah, no, 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 Hans, he isn't either. Well, Angelo, it looks like you're nominated. You're going to be a general. Get in there. You know the old crack about too many chiefs, no Indians. You've now had it. You try and dope it out, boy. man stands on his own, says Hunt. <laughs> that just might about be right. Come on, Rip. Oh, Angelo, you got a bad corner. I'm not kidding you. Teutonic equivalent of it. I don't know what it would be. Twinkie, what would we say in a case like this? Hmm? Ouch, huh? Well, that's good enough. Oh, Patrick, my boy. You better get inside the barrier reef. Oh, he's in. And 
Angelo, straighten up. The man wants to talk to you. Yeah, he did. Mm. Now, what on earth is this? They collided. There's no doubt about that. And again. Hello, here we go. One, two, three. Yep. That was a reverse something or other. Roll up, double leg lock, back breaker, whatever you want. 40 seconds, the winning team, sir. And Bob didn't even have nerve enough to mention it. You name it. This Russ Davis ringside international. Hope you like.